question 166 the tissue which exerts greatest control over the body's responsiveness to stimuli is cardiac muscle tissue neural tissue skeletal tissue blood the neurons in the body these are specialized cells which can transmit various signals this helps to regulate the complex functionalities in a body and also regulate the body's responsiveness to various stimuli thus the right answer would be option number two here cardiac muscle tissue is involved with the pumping of blood throughout the body skeletal tissue brings about the locomotion in the body correct answer is option number two neural tissue question 167 which is false regarding epithelium of small intestine it is modified to form brush border epithelium it is renewed by stem cells every few days it secretes digestive enzymes it is highly vascular let's analyze the options one by one it is modified to form brush border epithelium this is true the villi present in the small intestine increase the absorptive surface area multifold and these epithelial cells bearing these villi give it a brush border appearance so this is a true statement we are looking for a false statement option number two it is renewed by stem cells every few days yes this is also a true statement the epithelium in the small intestine is subjected to constant wear and tear and they need to be taken care by stem cells every few days option three it secretes digestive enzymes this is true the epithelium is modified to form many glands which secrete these enzymes helping in digestion process option number four it is highly vascular this is an incorrect statement because epithelium is devoid of blood supply it is an avascular tissue thus to state that it's highly vascular would be false or incorrect the correct answer here is option number four question 168 the conduction system of human heart does not include SA node AV node mitral valve Purkinje fibers the conduction system of the human heart includes SA node AV node bundle of his and Purkinje fibers so among the given options SA node AV node and Purkinje fibers are a part of conduction system but option number three mitral valve the mitral valve guards the opening of left atrium into the left ventricle thus it is present between left atrium and left ventricle and it's not a part of conduction system of human heart it prevents the backflow of blood from left ventricle into the left atrium during ventricular systole the correct answer is option number three question 169 which of the following is demonstrated by PR interval on electrocardiogram atrioventricular conduction ventricular repolarization ventricular action potential atrial depolarization the PR interval on ECG which is this part represents what has been asked in a standard ECG the P wave represents atrial depolarization that is atrial systole whereas the QRS part represents ventricular depolarization the point Q R and S are located at these points this PR interval is the time that represents atrioventricular conduction the correct answer would be option number one atrioventricular conduction question 170 which is not a secretion of the exocrine part of the pancreas trypsinogen chymotrypsinogen glucagon steps in among the given option option number three glucagon is a hormone 
and hormones are secreted by endocrine glands it cannot be secreted by exocrine part of a gland glucagon is secreted by alpha cells present in the islets of langerhans that is endocrine part of pancreas while rest of the given secretion come from the exocrine part of the pancreas so among the given option glucagon is not an exocrine secretion and hence is our answer answer is 3